Hey everyone, welcome to the video introducing the board versions for the Crow Panel ESP32 HMI Display Series tutorials. So far, we've made two upgrades to this series of boards based on user feedback. You can check the version of the board you're using here on the back of the board. Version 1.0 is the original one. If you're using a 1x version, before uploading code, you need to put the board into download mode. Press and hold the boot button then press the reset button and finally release both buttons. This allows you to upload the code to the board, otherwise you'll get an error message. After uploading, you'll need to manually press the reset button to see the effects of the newly uploaded code. If you're using a 2x version, regardless of the board size, you don't have to manually put it into download mode. You can directly upload the code and the board will automatically enter the burning mode. Plus, it'll automatically reset after the code upload is complete. In the 2x version, the 5 inch and 7 inch boards also have an IC interface for easier expansion of more sensor modules. Recently, we've updated the 5 inch and 7 inch boards to version 3.0, while the other sizes remain at version 2x. In the 3.0 version of the 5 inch and 7 inch boards, We've added an extended I.O. chip to provide the correct initialization timing for the screen. Therefore, there are corresponding modifications in the code. I've placed this initialization code at this position in the setup function. If you're using the 3.0 version of the 5-inch or 7-inch board, please don't delete this code segment. Otherwise, it may cause screen initialization failure. Regarding the code, I've updated it for this course and divided it into three folders. One x2, x, and 3.0. Except for the 5-inch and 7-inch boards in the 3.0 version, there are no changes to the other sizes. The code for all sizes in the 1, x, and 2, x versions is identical, so you can choose to use any of them. All right, here's an overview of the current three versions of this board series. All future purchases will be the latest version, and if there are any specific updates, I'll keep this video updated to clarify the differences between versions. Thanks for watching and see you next time.